Um, I've been asked to come and speak to you about um, what we call our passport to success that we've been working on at Cambridge Digital College. The conversation started around English and maths. We used to deliver key skills to all our learners in English, maths and IT. Things. So I suppose this is where the passport skills started. Um, Okay, so we started thinking about what our learners will look like and very early on we talked about them being skilled, being confident and being enterprising. But we needed to go into a bit more detail than that. What exactly does that mean? And we identified these five skill areas. Employability skills, social and community skills, personal learning skills, specialist skills and core skills. And previously the specialist skills They'd always been king. We've talked this morning about being very qualification driven. But of course nowadays the learners are going to be going into employment. They'll have so many different careers and that flexibility and creativity and innovation, they're the skills that are going to be king moving and are king moving forward. And that's what we're focusing on. So we, we needed to think about how we were going to market this. I go into schools to some of the careers assemblies and I started talking about the types of careers that they could go into rather than the actual qualifications that we delivered. And schools really received this well and gave us some really good feedback. So we thought about our prospectus and as a, a management team we sat down and we mapped out all the careers that they could go to from the different vocational areas. And we developed these career maps. Did it start with study programmes? It started before that, but then study programmes came in and few, our passport to success fits nicely into the study programme model. We, we talked about the different levels and what the passport skills means at the different levels. And for those of you who can remember foundation learning tier, the lower level vocational qualification suddenly became smaller and you had to have that um, personal development in there as well. And again, this fits in with our passport to success. So the level one programmes, so there'll be more emphasis and more time developing those core skills, developing those personal learning skills and employability skills. And then as they get to level three, hopefully, the idea is they've developed more independence and they've got those transferable skills. So the real focus then is on the specialist skills and the progression to employment or the progression to HE. So we sat down and we differentiated what passport <coughs> skills means to us at the different level. We produced a generic matrix for level one, level two and level three. And then we, we gave that to our vocational teams and then asked them to tailor that for their own areas. So they're looking at the kind of literacy, numeracy and IT skills that the employers want. And a couple of years ago we started working on a course specific diagnostic but it also incorporated the interpersonal, the communication or the customer service skills, uh, the self-management, organisation, team building, so that we could assess learners' starting points in the vocational areas. And this year we are running a pilot of progression coaches, a team of staff who are focused on mentoring and coaching learners, and their focus, their priority is on the learner, and really the passport uh, to success gives them a curriculum that they work with, um, with learners. So just to sort of pull that together, the passport skills cycle, it starts with the IAG, the literacy, numeracy, initial assessments. We start talking to learners about aspirational time. Our course specific diagnostic assessment, we do it induction, which informs the spike profile. From this, it produces a group profile and targets, and also the personal profile and targets. And then the progression coaches are sitting down with the learners on a regular basis, reviewing progress, setting targets, and uh, putting that into the EIL. The personal and professional development sessions are delivered in a number of ways. I've already talked about one-to-one -one tutorial. I've talked about that group delivery. Okay but also we've developed our work experience handbook. We've built our passport skills into a handbook. We're asking employers to feed back against those skills areas for learners. So developments moving forward, um, we'll be reviewing the pilot at the end of this year and consolidating and rolling out that progression coach role. 
Uh, and whether we do that for all learners or maybe with some of the lower level learners specifically, so that's something that we need to evaluate. So it's, it's not a finished product, we don't have all the answers, it's very much a work in progress, but that's just to summarise where, where we are with it at, 